During the summer of 2016, the characteristic towers of the new Sarah Mildred Long Bridge first began to rise out of the Piscataqua River between Kittery, Maine and Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Chimbro crews marshaled the growing towers, one precast segment at a time, 88 segments in all that had been fabricated on site by a special Chimbro precast team. The winter of 2016-2017 came and went, providing relatively mild temperatures that helped Chinbro's productivity. At the end of that time span, the Sarah Long job site had been transformed. Chinbro team members had stacked all of the precast segments for the four lift span towers. Two roadway segments were in place, as were all of the segments that will carry the railroad on the Portsmouth side, while half of the Kittery Railroad segments were also in place. Anyone passing the high-profile job site can tell you it's an impressive scene. The erection of the precast portion of the towers is complete. The next step will be a cast-in-place cap on top, and then there will be shiv columns on top of that, which will support the shiv on top, which will support the lift span and the counterweights. So there's quite a bit of work on top of the tower that remains, along with all the machinery inside at the base of the towers. Now with the summer building season again on the horizon, Chinbro crews are preparing for the final busy months of activity that will produce a new bridge open to traffic by fall. The barge Cape Hatteras waits in the river, soon to become the platform where Chinbro crews will assemble the bridge's lift span for floating into place later in the project. This summer we'll be capping off the towers on the top, we'll be completing the machinery rooms at the bottom, and then the electrical rooms which will span between the two towers about a third of the way up. Um, there's a lot of cast in place work that has to take place there. The control house on one of the Portsmouth towers which will hang out over the side. That's all, a lot of cast in place work that needs to happen and that all has to happen for the mechanical and electrical to all be installed which all has to happen before the lift span can be floated in. So again, there's a very linear progression there for all that to happen to get that bridge moving up and down. Meanwhile, the old Sarah Long Bridge is barely more than a memory, having been removed over the course of the winter. Demolition experts wired their explosives and fired up some heavy equipment to pulverize the concrete piers that were left behind. The uh, superstructure is completely gone from the old bridge. The in-river piers are being blasted. Three of them are gone, the three more to blast. The uh, approach piers, as you can hear in the background, are coming out pretty quick. There's only a few of those left. It's really moved our bridge into the skyline, having that old bridge out of the way. You know, I think it served everyone well, but I, I think everyone's happy to see it go and to see this new one take its place. The new alignment of the new bridge, one end of the, uh, the bridge, they're a little further apart, so there's a little more room, but on the main end, the bridges come right together, so it's very close quarters over there, so there's a lot of coordination taking place. As the warm weather months of 2017 roll by, the new span will take on its final polished form. Chinbro will have another milestone project to add to a long and illustrious resume, and thousands of motorists per day will regain the convenience of a river crossing at the Sarah Long Bridge. Given the speed of the transformation over the last few months, the project's final sprint is likely to be remarkable. Yeah, I think everyone here is excited to be a part of this project. It's a very unique design, it's very cool, and especially now that we're starting to see the roadway over Market Street and the towers are complete, you're seeing a lot more interest generated around town, people asking questions about it. I think before it was slow to build interest because they didn't see much, but in the last six or eight months, the bridge has really sprung into the public view.